everyone. Surprise stream. Welcome to the stream. And for those of you on YouTube, welcome to the extra video. I am hopping back into another demo that's out this week. Um, and some of them I think will only be available until the 20th. So I've got this one and one other that I am hoping to stream today. Schedule willing. And this one is Dot Age. Um, I've seen a little bit about it. Didn't watch too much of it because I kind of wanted to go into it blind. So let's see what the story has for us. Welcome to Dot Age. This is a short demo to give you a taste of the game. Beware. Content is not final. Enjoy. New story. Choose your elder. Mattis, let me tell, tell you the story of how our very own village was born. I was so young back then. This is the tale of a curse we were destined to face, and how we bested the adversities through cooperation. Grumpy. Grumpy is grumpy. <laughs> Mattis has a very short temper and no patience for slackers. Everybody will work hard under his command. Okay. Oh, everything else is coming soon. Coming soon to a theater near you. Impossible? Well, why would you play that? Very hard. Hard. Normal. You know me. I go easy. Let's see. Wait a second. Events are weaker. Live in peace. Danger generated 50%. A challenging survival experience. Oh. I don't want to live in peace. I mean, isn't that... Part of the fun of the game? Alright. It says it's normal, so I'm gonna go with that. Let me tell you a story. It began before all of you were born. We had been traveling for days in foreign lands. This is the story of how our village was born. Oh, wah, wah. The story of how we bested the prophecy. Oh, that's not good. Look like a shark. It all began in a lush, secluded valley, which we found after several days of travel. Just a few more steps, you slackers. We are almost there. Hey, Sudsy, how are you today? My feet hurt. Are we there yet? <laughs> oh, I was so young back then. I convinced a pu a, yeah, a pu fips a few pips to follow me to the valley. Speaking is hard. This is it. This is the place I told you about. We must stay here. Crispy. Oh no, spent too much time in the pool yesterday. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Hope you're not in a lot of pain. Take an aloe bath. Hopefully that'll help. Oh, yeah, I I avoid the sun like the plague because it and I do not get along. It likes to uh, cry and fricassee me as well. Ugh. But yeah, those pools, they're distracting. You forget how much you need to watch out for the sun because you're having so much fun. Oh. You'd better not be lying about this new life, Mattis. She wiggling her finger at him. Uh-uh-uh. She just needs the head bob. Impertinent. Follow my lead and everything will be all right. Now get to work. We started working right away to build our village. Hello, Mr. Rooster. Oh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> hey, Josh, how are you doing today? I think the sun's asleep until you... That, that's kind of a scary face for a sun. Maybe he's yelling at me for waking him up. <laughs> I think this is the first time I'm telling you the story, isn't it? 
you better pay attention as I won't repeat it twice. At any time you can click on this button to skip the scene. Oh, that's okay. I was looking for it within the window box here. I was like, oh no, I don't want to hit it by accident. The village was in a secluded, faraway valley. Playing some ESO. Nice. You can use your arrow keys, pan at the screen edges, or hold right click to move your view around. Zoom with your scroll wheel. Okay. Use All right. And we can also use WASD. Love it already. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. We, we can zoom. Uh-oh. And I've lost the people. We might be in trouble. I already lost the village. Found the alarm. I'm level 16, almost 17 now. Awesome! Are you enjoying it? And, oh, which, which race did you pick? Which class? I don't think I've ever asked you that. That's important questions, especially in any RPG. What in the world was I thinking? I was the elder of the new village. Let me tell you what I did to make the village thrive. The tent was our village center. Define the extents of our village where we could safely build. Place it on an available tile close to berry bushes. Okay. Define close to berry bushes. There's quite a few there, but... Ooh, there's like a ton over here. Okay, so we've got like a... I'm not sure what we would call that. The only problem is, is I don't think... I need some place... I need like woods and rocks and... I'm not finding a good balance. RNG was not with me on this one. Okay, and you can only put it... Oh, it just... Well, maybe you don't need woods and everything. It's not letting me do anything with that. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the woods actually blocks you. Alright. Well, I guess we'll go with the area. Gives me the most space. There we go. Three pips inhabited dwellings such as this. Hover over the dwelling and you will see that it is already full of pips. Oh. I'm ready for my close-up. Pips, yes. My fellow villagers, I use to tell them what to do each day. Hmm. I remember first sending a pip to get some food. To assign a pip to a building, structure, or plant, click on its title. I'm a Dragonite. That's a fun one. That is a fun one. Okay, so do I... Pick a pip. Click on this tile. Just click on that. Okay. Okay. So if I click on more than one... Gotcha. Pips followed my wise advice without question. The pip is now working. You can click on the tile again to remove pips. That's pretty easy. Pips work to produce resources daily. Hover over a building to see what it will produce in the top right. Uh, what are you and what you do? DPS, tank, or healer? I picked an elf Templar, um, high elf Templar, and um, right now I'm dual wielding and just kind of leveling up everything. Um, but probably, I, I, I like to go healer if I'm playing with um, a group or community or some sort of a support buff or something like that. Um, but yeah, when I play on my own, I, I try to do a balance. So that's why I like the Templar so much, because you've got healing, you've got... Although they've pretty much, I think, made all the classes like that now. They give everybody healing and then um, some sort of magic and then some sort of a, like a magical melee attack. 
do I do my daily dungeon? I haven't, I don't think I've opened up any dungeons yet on this character. And I haven't really focused on too many dungeons. I had some friends that played um, Elder Scrolls for a bit, and they ran through some dungeons. Um, otherwise, I just do the public dungeons when I feel like I'm over-leveled for a dungeon, and you just kind of run through. But, I, I yeah, I, I can't say I've focused on dungeons too much, and I didn't, I didn't know that they had a daily dungeon, but I think you're talking about the the new, um, ugh, what were they called? There's a new currency now that they've added where you have, like, daily tasks or weekly tasks, and then you get the, the seals. For the Endeavor? Endeavor seals? Is that what they're called? Is that what you're talking about? Found some bushes full of berries. They would suffice for our, our first days. Bushes have limited uses. The number on the top left show how many uses are left. Uh-oh. Okay. We collected the resources we produced each day in a shared pool inside the village. One food for each pip was needed every day. Available food is assigned automatically. Is there like a... Oh, max 50. Okay, so I need to keep an eye on that. So do they each have 10? Or do they have like... 10 turns 3 apiece. So that's like 30. That's that's a lot. I ensured that each pip was assigned to their daily task. Here you see how many working pips are in the village in total and how many are idling. So green's available, yellow's working, and red are not working. Uh, Dungeon daily, you get them in a ton of experience, like I've done two days and I've leveled up in each dungeon. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. And you've got some good stuff in there, too. I also took note of the current day, year, and season. The game advances in turns, so do not worry about time passing too fast. And I was satisfied... Satisfied. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh. Satisfying that the daily assignments would get to work right away. Pass the turn by clicking the sun. Ah, uh, click the sun. There we go. <laughs> oh, the little bunnies go to sleep. Are you max level? Oh no, I'm not even max level on the characters I've been playing on the PlayStation, and I've been playing Elder Scrolls for years. I just kind of get an itch on itch for it from time to time. I go on, I do some adventuring or crafting or whatever it is that catches my attention and or whatever I feel like. And uh, I think I may have just one character to champion level, but I think that was my very first character, and I think I got him to champion level by accident just by adventuring around and then learning the crafting and stuff back when it gave you experience. Um, I don't remember. They've, they've been changing it quite a bit over the years. Um, I'm trying to remember what the max, like, normal level is. Um, I think it's level 50. Let me double check that. Hmm. I think it's around level 50. And then you start getting what they call, do they still call them champion points? I don't want to tell you wrong. And then as you gain levels, you get like points that you put in the champion levels. And it boosts the skills that you already have. So you can actually focus more on your tanking, your DPS, or your healing. But once you get one character map maxed out and you open up the champion, um, the champion level system, then it's available for any character that you create after that. Unless they've changed that more recently.
So it's like once you get to level 50, then you go from skills and you have like special perks or traits, whichever you want to call them, that you can level up. All right. Hold on. There was more to it. I recall it now. My memories. I can recall what happened. Memory retrieved. With my old age, I tend to get a bit forgetful. As I tell you our story, old memories will resurface. So look out for those epiphanies. Another memory retrieved. Build. You can now build structures. Awesome. Place in buildings. Any pip has the skills to build the building. After you choose a building, you will be able to place it where you want inside the village area. An occupied, unoccupied pip will get there to build it, and it will take a few days. Okay, I'm going to have to pull a pip off a bush to build. Say that five times fast. <laughs> now, do they have any... Do they have, like, skills or something? Ebo, Bupa, and Batichi? I don't know how you pronounce that. The BCC? <laughs> I'm not sure how you pronounce that one. Alright, let's see here. What do we need? I decided we needed a thinker's post to help hips come up with new ideas. Click on it. Alright. Each building had a different cost to build. For this one, it took one day and a couple of wood resources. Okay. Doesn't, okay, you have to put it on a spot. Um, is he old? Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. The old man is chasing it around. Now he's going to get his workout today. So I'm going to be mean. A few laps around the camp there. Okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> um, can you do that? We'll just, the base game, or do you eventually have to get the add-ons that you buy? I believe it comes with the base game. I don't think that's something that came with the DLC or anything. That's that's part of the base game. Um, the DLCs and everything gives you um, new areas and new dungeons. Um, there's a third thing. I can't think of what it's called. But mainly it just gives you more content in areas and dungeons and then continues the storyline. Gives you the storyline in that in those areas. Okay, let's build that there. Follow the tutorial. Where do you want me to put it? Okay. Oh, hang on. Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. I can't read the tutorial. <laughs> okay. Buildings produce something and produces something else. Unfortunately, I, I don't know what it is. Oh, dear. Okay. Yeah, this is... Can I get... Uh-oh. I've gotten three X's and have I struck out? <laughs> what did I do? What is going on here? Aw, oh, man. Okay. Now we're back. Apparently I wasn't supposed to click on it yet. I decided where to place the building. Place it. If a pip is free, it will be assigned and they will build it. Okay. Oh, my. I don't know there was any reason for that, but okay. It took Pips a few days to build. Hover over the building to see how many turns it is. It says it's one. Buildings came in many different types. Some of them could be built only on specific terrains, while others changed production based on their surroundings. What? You want to know how I mastered the placement of buildings? Well, I needed this information before I placed it. I collected my wisdom into a big book I called the Agepedia. Access it by clicking here. All right. Agepedia contains information about buildings, resources, and much more. Be sure to check it often. If you forget about something, just ask and I will gladly tell you about it. You see a small question mark icon on your cursor. You can right click to access the Agepedia page for the hovered icon. All right, most content, not in demo. All side things. Okay, so I need someone to build. There. There we go. Okay. 
Hopefully Mattis doesn't drive her nuts. But it might be possible. Now we've got, does Mattis eat? I didn't pay any attention. Okay, oh that's right, I've got to end the turn. I was waiting for time to progress, this isn't one of those games. Okay, doesn't look like Mattis eats, just the pips. <laughs> Mattis Knight and the pips, why did that just pop in? <laughs> Okay, research. Science and research. Pips came to these lands with little knowledge, but they can be very brilliant if they take their time. Some buildings produce science, which is used to advance your research. By gathering science, you will be able to discover new buildings. Hello, Gerson. How are you doing today? Or later on today. This is, this, this is the second hello that we've had today. So hello again. Some pips were obsessed with science, a special resource we could use to discover new buildings. Click on the research button to see what we can do. So click on this. Yes. Go. Okay, I gotta click off of that. Right. There's no reason to be so rude about it, Mattis. You catch more flies with sugar. Have you, have you not heard that? All right, let's see what research we have. We kept a tally of what structures we had knowledge of. Each building required producing a certain amount of science to be discovered. I alone chose where to focus the research efforts. Hover over the building to see its detail and click on it. Forager, nice. Nearby woods. Oh, I don't think we have any woods in the back. Oh. Well, apparently I'm not going to get to choose this one. After we discovered new buildings, we gained access to even more brilliant ideas. <laughs> You're excited for tomorrow. Yeah, but that, unfortunately they did it. that just means it's going to take a little bit longer to get here. So you're going to, you need to find some stuff that's going to distract you, that's going to make time go by fast. <laughs> but I'm glad you're excited about it. It means you're looking forward to it. I can't recollect them right now, but I am sure we had a lot of different ideas. They will surely come to me later. It is called HOI4. Nice. Well, I pray that time will speed along for you then. So tomorrow we'll be here before you know it. New research ideas will appear after you complete the previous ones. Okay, are we good? Get this one set up. Guess we'll find out. Maybe. Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay. Everyone's going to bed. Even the bunnies. Alright. Okay. So it is, it is going down. What do we do now? I guess we're waiting for that. Let's see. Raw. Oh, wood collect. Oh, is it telling me I don't have any place to put this? Uh-oh. That's not good. What about this? A town center, commoner housing, or a shack. Still saying no. Am I jumping the gun here? Is that what's going on? I thought this would pass just one day. Oh. Okay. I think I know what I messed up. I don't have anybody on the the thinking table. Nobody's thinking. Do we know? You can build the wood gatherer at the topmost grid. Okay. Yeah, I can. I knew I should have put it closer to the resources. Is there any way I can tell? Are pips like better at things than others? I don't know what their stats are and that sort of thing. Okay. So we've got that going. What have I got here? 
still just the thinker's port, the post. Ah, I may have to stop. Let's see. I think we would need... Yeah, I'm gonna need wood for things here soon. Well, I guess I'll wait. Just in case I break the game. Okay, there we go. All the noms. Well, I guess I can try and build this here. Okay, that's the only place it'll give me. There we go. He is definitely grumpy, they just didn't say how grumpy. That's super grumpy. Definitely like their food. Erky, erky, er. Oops. Oh my. Spelling. Spelling is not my strong suit today. Okay. So there we go, hopefully. And let's keep the days going here. That last bunny did not want to go to bed. I, like, I want to stay up. Okay, one more day. Research completed. We have a forager. All right, let's take you. Up there. Put you back over here. And then, uh oh. Do we have any place to put this? Oh dear. I have chosen poorly. There. Okay. Something new. What is this? Oh, well, I didn't want to pick it yet. Hopefully, it's not permanent. Seasonal, all but winter. Seed pickers. Oh, what we got here? Crude well. Feels burning with water. Okay. okay. I think I picked the water? I did pick the water. Alright, great. I'm going to take you off of there since it's almost gone. So next time I need to be much more careful with my placement. I thought it was just taking away from my area for my town, but you actually have to have adjacent tiles to be able to, to get the item. Let's see. I thought maybe can't forge bunnies, huh? So, yeah, that's not going to work. Still got quite a bit left. So did I break it because I can't build the forager? I'm gonna try and tear down the wood. The wood up here. I want you to build shacks. Well, that makes sense. He wants to live in a community tent here. Oh, two people 
two people in one. Let's help each other. Alright. <laughs> Get out of my tent. Alright. Okay, how do we get I need more people at this point. Didn't pay attention to how many turns this took. Hello. Mattis has something to say. Oh goodness, that's not good. The apocalyptic vision. I remember it vividly. I just started the game. How are we at the apocalypse already? Memory retrieved. Fate. Events incoming. Our village is cursed. Oh, gracious. Plenty of events with unforeseen consequences may appear when you pass the turn between each day and the next. Events can be anything. A shift in the winds, the creation of a new bond, the symptoms of a new illness, or just a good old earthquake. <laughs> good old-fashioned earthquake. Oh, boy. Most events have adverse effects, so pray you are lucky. Do not despair. I am no ordinary elder. I am an oracle. I can sometimes predict what woes await. My visions are collected at the top of the screen. However, my visions are imperfect. I can only predict the nature of an event and the day it will appear. The rest is up to you. The visions came to me. I saw the future, and the world is doomed. The apocalypse is coming. You brought us here to die? Don't be stupid. Oh no. We are in this place for a reason. We can stop this. Let me tell you about my prophecy. According to what I saw, we will endure many trials in the near future. I wrote down all my visions. Our first danger laid ahead. Is this it? Okay. You foresee an omen. You know that this domain's threat will be affected, and nothing can be done about that. And you just said there was something we could do about it. That's the whole reason we were here. The scroll and the old man are fighting with each other. It will be tied to the despair domain. I carefully noted, I carefully noted all days of the year. This is the current day. And a doom event awaits us in a few months. We must prepare for it. You foresee a doom event. You know that it will be stronger than usual. It will be tied to the, dis to the despair domain. Okay. How do we... How do these? A season event. Now there are lots of despair. What's this? Heat? <laughs> Heat and despair is what we have to look forward to. You said we'd find a new life here. Disrespectful fool. Are you calling me a liar? Work hard and the trials can be bested. This is what I have saw. Now that you all know about the prophecy, we need to work hard to survive. Oh, hello. What is that? Another memory you've created. They just come in packs, don't they? Mysterious domains govern the life of Pips, determining what events will appear when and why. Each domain has its own rules, so make sure you learn the differences. Oh, I know he's not happy, whoever he is. Oh dear. Are they, that side doesn't look like despair. In difficult times, the howls of the wind and the harshness of life can quickly drive a pip man. The despair domain feeds on the inner struggle and social tensions of your pips. When its threat is high, pips will perform atrocious deeds controlled by their fears. Place buildings and increase hope in the village and keep your pips happy and entertained to fight, to fight the spare events. Pips may also find happiness in positive social connections, which includes pets. Okay, puppies. We are going to fight everything with puppies. Puppies and kitties. <laughs> I can get on board with that. The puppy events shall now be implemented. I saw the future. We were all doomed. Thanks to my visions, I could warn everybody about what would happen. Visions of future events will appear here. My visions were tied to the domains, the forces that threatened the village. This one is sleeping, so we are safe for a while. 
but it will change. There's a bit to learn here. Oh, uh oh, it's thinking. An omen prophecy may appear inside the prophecy book. Nothing can be done and about an omen prophecy. The event will arrive and it will make things worse, just as predicted. But our research has been completed for the crude well. Memory retrieve. Research growth. Some terrains may have special properties that can affect building output. When a building that can take advantage of that terrain is built on top, it will have an increased production output. Oh yes, I remember now. We had ideas for many different types of structures. Sometimes I will remember a new research section and it will appear in the research tree. All right. Lots of stuff going on. So this, okay, boosted water event. Now this is a, there's a bush on the wall. Okay, so any of these. Why is the shack, oh, that's the tent. Oh, good. Okay, so probably putting, putting this, what was abandoned? Abandoned buildings in the village whose constraints are unfulfilled will be abandoned by pips and cannot be used until the requirement is restored. Uh-oh, what did I do? For example, the thinker's post does not want any building close to it. Oh, okay. So how do I know I want to remove it? Remove plans. Yes. Okay. All right. So the thinking table does not like neighbors. Gotcha. Okay. Are we good here? All right. Okay. The, the research was done, so we should be okay. We're doing well on food. So we've got something else we need to plow soil. Okay. So that's food. So does this mean that they'll, maybe this means that they will reproduce. We'll get more berries instead of running out, maybe. We'll see. Okay, we got one little shack. Why is no one in the shack? Why did everybody go in the tent? I'm confused. More building conditions. Procreation. Oh, babies. Making a baby. Okay. Here we go with the birds and the bees. For those of you that need to co cover young ears, you may do so now. <laughs> ah, the power of love. If a dwelling has enough empty space, pips will be able to make a baby. And they should, if we want the village to thrive. Okay, this isn't one where you build the village or town that, and then you get to a certain level and you'll attract more people. All right. Send two pips to that building with some surplus food and we'll spend the night together making a new baby. And two free pips will do regardless of their appearance. Pips can be very prolific. You probably learned that from the bunnies. It took little time to realize that we needed more pips. I was too old, but my fellow pips were healthy and prolif prolific. It's time for the birds and the bees stock. Oh dear. It's pretty simple. You would just need a happy couple and some food. Any two free pips will do. That's a problem. I don't have any free pips. Okay. Free, free the pips. All right. We can do that. Okay. You're free. Yes. Okay. And, uh, We'll free up B here. Pips also need an intimate place. Right click to open. Oh, right click. Oh, okay. Apparently it has, has more than one. Aw, oh, look. They brought each other flowers. The two pips would then spend the next day making the baby. I hope everything is clear now. I won't explain. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Hang on. Oh, okay, that's right. I keep forgetting I need to... I don't know why this turn system is confusing me so much, but... Growing up. Oh! We've got a piplet! So cute. <laughs> We're very hungry after that. Alright. When a new child is born, it will take a few turns before it can become an adult. Children are not strong nor disciplined enough to work, so they will just play around their homes all day. Remember to feed them too, however, as they, they eat just like an adult. Okay, now that we've got some free-range piplets. Um, what were we doing? We need wood, and we need food. Okay, that's everybody. So the kids live in the shack. Interesting. So the adults don't get their own houses at all. Seems to be a downside to be an adult. All right. Oh yeah, we still need someone to research. Okay, you're done. Let's send you over here to do the research. I already told them to do it. You don't need to come. <laughs> oh, Mattis. You're working a little too hard. Just a little too hard. We need to trust people that they know what they need to do and they'll do it. Uh-oh. Yep, one down. Okay. He's having fun. Okay, we good? Everybody going? Working on the foraging of the berries. The better berries. Just like his mom. Alright, so where do we... Do I need to draw water? Is that a thing? I guess we'll find out if it is. I'm assuming we need water. It's not going to dancing and drawing. I'm okay with that. Uh-oh. Oh, all of a sudden you just run down there. Hello. Fear threat rises. Pro sighting. Oh, pros are bad. Oh dear. Oh, this kind of reminds me of, uh, oh, I can't remember what that game was I just played a couple months ago. Where you had the events would happen and then the threat to the town would happen. You had to offset it. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're checking out the bunnies. Oh, okay. Piplets get to stay in the houses. Gotcha. So does that mean I need... I'm going to have to make another shack then to get more piplets. That's a little bit of a drawback. That's okay. follow, follow the tutorial. Yes, sir. Okay. The event arrived and the domain threat has increased. The bar below each domain measures its current threat. Were it ever to reach its maximum, we would be doomed. If awake, the domain generated fear each day. The higher the threat, the higher the fear generated per day. Not all was lost, however. We could fight that fear by generating hope. Awesome. <laughs> okay, thank goodness it's not covering the button. Yep, I, I'm breaking... I'm, I'm doing my best to try and break the game. Oh my. Some buildings will help you against upcoming events. These buildings produce some protection against the given domain. Domain. I can not say that word. The total protection determines your defense capabilities against events. You can check this total by hovering on the domains. Go, go away with the shack. All right. I remember we had special buildings to fight off events. Cool. Uh oh, did I break it? Uh oh. Oh no, he wants me to go over here. Not my berry shrubs. Oh. Were those tabs here before? 
We is that idiot? That's a new word. I don't think I've ever seen that word. I'm not to look that up now. Special buildings that counterbalance the domains. I love it when I learn a new word then. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, we focused on some buildings that could give us hope. A meeting point. Alright. Apparently we've lost our berry bushes for now. Okay, are we good? I'm afraid to touch anything now. <laughs> Must follow tutorial. <laughs> okay, are we doing alright with food? I think so. I'm not sure how much one pip actually harvests in a day. Uh oh, that one's gone. Okay, on to the next. Got a bunny whisperer here from the looks of it. Kind of cool. Uh oh. I see. I see the risk of a bad event falling upon us. The vision is confusing, but there is hope. We can fight it. A risk prophecy may appear inside the prophecy. Oh man. The events tied to a risk prophecy can be very bad, but the vision is muddy and the future can be altered. Oh dear. He's kind of having a conniption fit there. That's not good. When a risk prophecy arrives, the current protection is checked against the domain danger. You have a chance to prevent an event based on the ratio of danger to protection. The higher your protection, the higher your chance. Yeah, this is reminding me a lot of that other game. That game is fun, so I like that. A little bit, little bit of strategy, a little bit of a challenge. You have to be prepared, so you just can't can't just throw down whatever buildings you want. You need to have a balance from the sound of it. I had another vision, a risk event. It felt somewhat dangerous. The risk event arrives in eight days. You can prevent this event. Hopefully, we had several days to prepare. Or eight, more specifically. The vision had awoken the domain, which started generating fear. Better generate some hope. Well, I'm about two turns away from that, I think. <laughs> He's yelling at people, and they're just smiling at him. He's like, aw, oh, Mattis. He's so silly. <laughs> Somebody give him a hug. I'd love to see the look on his face and if he gave him a hug. Shock him right into silence. Right. Right. Level four. Come on. I'm ready to share some hope. We'll start with the village and then we'll share the hope with the world. Meeting point. Yes. All right. Oh, culture. Now, I'm assuming they, does that mean it wants to be near two places? Why is this blinking? Did I do it right? I'm sure it's going to tell me if I didn't. Okay, you need to this, please. Thank you. Keep getting... Should we continue to get water? I don't know what I'm going to need the water for. It's like we're running low on food. I'm going to send you over here. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to talk with the bunnies anymore. Alright. We built the meeting point. Okay. Doesn't seem to be any problems. It didn't block me this time, so I think we're good. Now, where does it show? I'm assuming this is the hope up here. But I actually have to send someone here. Okay. No worker available. I mean, there's no worker available. I'm too available? What are you doing? I'm back. Just did my daily. How was it? Do I need two people? Do I need two people? Ah, I need two people. 
takes two people to generate hope. Why not? And two or more shall gather in my name. I wonder if that's the max. The max storage is 50 for each. Well, it's not total because that's more than 50. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, all right. We are generating hope. We've got food. We've got water. Four days. Hopefully, we'll have enough. Should. Oh, how many levels did you jump from it, Josh? Is it still leveling you up at least once for each dungeon you do? Uh-oh, there's another one down. The healer was bad. He let me die a couple of times, but I'm level 18. Oh. I'm trying to remember. I don't think I was... No, I was tank when I ran with my friends in Elder Scrolls because they didn't have a tank. It's two DPS and a healer, and I had never tanked before in my life. I, I think I died at the very end, so I was very happy. They they still wiped the boss out and everything at the end of the dungeon, but <laughs> leveled you up twice. Nice. Well, you hear, heard it here first, folks. If, if you want to level up quickly in Elder Scrolls Online, check out those daily dungeons. Okay. So we're just... Barely keeping ahead of it. Okay. I guess we'll focus on that right now. Okay, I'm just barely keeping ahead of it. So, can I be further ahead than that? Okay. We'll just stick with what we got. I always wish I, I wish I was researching something right now. What am I using the wood for? I don't think I need the wood. Let's send you down here and we can research something else. Maybe. Let's see, we've got growth. Just hunting. Ooh. That might be good. Man, I don't know what to go with next. It's seeds. I don't think we have any seeds. Is that we get seeds? Seed picker. And what do we get the seeds from? My Elder Scrolls character is like two or three. <laughs> hey, you gotta start somewhere, Sudsy. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. And, and it's fun, I think, in the earlier stages when it's brand new and you're trying to figure things out. Uh, plus, you go through those like first five levels, like lick of the split. They're like nothing. And you get all the skills and you don't know what to try them on. And <laughs> I think the first five levels of a new game is always the most fun. You prefer Factorial? Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. You, you enjoy... Enjoy the math and the logistics and everything, and that just, yeah, my mind just doesn't work that way. I wish math was fun for me. Oh my, that would make some things so much easier for me. Okay, oh, oh man, I don't know whether, to... let's not. I guess maybe I better just keep it safe. Well, oh, anyway, let's get you off of here. Uh oh, what's going on? What's wrong? Hips available for what? Oh, hey, I know. I just, I just took them off of there. Okay, let's see how this event works. Let's see how this event works. But yeah, I think I'm only like level seven or eight on the character that it just started for the stream. So, I mean, I think there's probably ways you can blow right through the levels, but I just like to take my time, see everything. Oh, oh, I have to roll the dice. Oh, dear. Oh, well, we found something. Looks like a seed. 
Okay, you found a lot of something. Pimps abound. Okay, looks like maybe cloth? Rope? Officer. Oh, we got luck. Sometimes pips may find new resources in the surrounding village. What those are for may not be clear initially, but keep researching new buildings and you will find a use for all resources you can find. Yeah, we have a new resource. Well, the world didn't come to an end. So I wonder if you need to keep people generating. If so, that probably means, and means I need more piplets. <laughs> I need more piplets. Let's see here. Um, what can we do next? What is that? I'm not sure if that has something to do with the hemp. Oh, a bivouac. Welcomes commoner. Isn't the bivouac like a big fancy tent? Ooh, bonfire. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned about whether to do anything or not. Um. I'm at least going. Okay, I think I need to. I need to right click. That's right. Blow it up. <laughs> Let's blow up the love shack. <laughs> there we go. Okay, hopefully. I don't need any hope right away. Personally, I always want hope, but I don't have enough pips to share hope right now. I'm so sad. Growing up. Oh, they all look like that? Interesting. Alright. At least it's a quick process. I wonder if there's any RNG that goes with it or not. Wait, did you guys have triplets? Um, no. It says there's just one. Okay. I keep seeing threes. <laughs> Maybe they had triplets. I was like, oh my goodness. We, we did quite well there. All right. I'll send you guys back. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. Everybody's deciding where they want to go exactly. All right. Just, just have a nice foundation of hope ready, just in case. <laughs> You gotta keep working on your hope, right? Work on it every day, just in case you need it. Keep it strong, and then you've got it when you need it. All right. Oh dear. Wow, where did that hour go? Well, this was Dot Age. Uh, this is fun. I'm looking forward to this one coming out. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with me. Gruesome, Josh, Sudsy. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and a blessed weekend, and I hope you get to enjoy the weekend. If not, I hope your weekend is coming soon. Everyone, please remember, you are loved and you are not alone. Come hang out with me anytime I'm live. Let's have some fun, share some encouragement, share some good games with each other. There's nothing that says we shouldn't have some fun. It's, it's not a crime. <laughs> As long as we take care of our responsibilities first. So, and speaking of which, I probably better head off and see what there is that I have left on the back burner to be done myself. <laughs> the demos keep calling to me. <laughs> it's such a distraction. I'll be glad when I get the last game done and then maybe I'll do better, right? <laughs> or I'll find another demo that might grab my attention. So, thank you so much again for joining me, everyone. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to hang out with me. New journeys wait in the next video. Hope to see you there. Take care. <laughs>